Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about one's complement in microprocessor 8085 programming in assembly language tutorial. Let's check the outline of this video. The first topic is what is one's complement? The second one is instruction for one's complement and its syntax. Third topic is one's complement explained with programming concept. And the last one is application of one's complement. Let's start with the first topic. What is one's complement in microprocessor 8085? One's complement means inverting all the bits in binary. So it means each zero becomes one and each one becomes zero. So it is called one's complement. So let's take one example to understand the one's complement. For example, the value 8 which is in hexadecimal format. Now convert this value into binary format. So here binary representation of 0, 8 is 4 times 0, 1 and 3 times 0. So here 0, 8 is hexadecimal value. So I have represent in the 8 bits of binary digits. So as per the definition of one's complement, inverting all the bits in binary. So it means all 0 becomes 1 and all 1 becomes 0. So now this is the one's complement of the 0, 8 which is in binary format. So now again I am converting this binary value into hexadecimal value. So hexadecimal value of one's complement is F7. So here we can say F7 is the one's complement of 0, 8. So here I have explained example in hexadecimal format. Because when we are performing this program in GNU SIM 8085 at that time, the register of GNU SIM 8085 is used hexadecimal values. So this is the basic concept of one's complement. So next topic is one's complement instruction and its syntax in microprocessor 8085 programming. The instruction of one's complement is CMA. CMA means complement the accumulator content. The syntax of complement instruction is CMA. CMA is a single instruction. No need to write any value or register after the CMA instruction. So here we can say complement instruction is associated with the accumulator. Because whenever you want to perform one's complement on any number, you must have to store this number into accumulator. Because using the complement instruction, we can complement the accumulator content only. So this is about the instruction and syntax of complement instruction. Next topic is example of one's complement using programming concept. So let's take one program definition to understand the one's complement. So program definition is write assembly language program to perform one's complement of given number. So as per the definition, our first task is data load into the accumulator. For example, the 0, 8 is stored into the accumulator. So instruction of this statement is MVI A, 0, 8. So here 0, 8 is in hexadecimal format. Next task is perform one's complement to the accumulator. So instruction of this statement is CMA. CMA means complement accumulator content. So it performs the one's complement to the accumulator content. So after execution of CMA instruction, accumulator content is F7. So here F7 is the one's complement of 0, 8. So as per the definition, here our task is complete. So our program is completed. So let's check the execution of this program step by step in GNU SIM 8085. So first of all, I have placed the code here. So this is my program. So now first assemble the program. So here program assembled successfully. So let's check the step by step execution of this program. So after execution of the first instruction, the value 0, 8 is stored into the accumulator. Now next instruction is CMA. So after execution of CMA instruction, the accumulator content perform once complement. So now check the content of accumulator. It is F7. And the last instruction is halt. It means stop the execution of the program. The next topic is application of once complement. The main use of one's complement is to represent a signed binary number. So here signed binary number means how to represent positive and negative number in the binary system. So let's take one example how to represent a signed binary numbers. For example, how plus 6 and minus 6 are represented in 5 bit registers. So here I have represent plus 6 and minus 6 in 5 bit register. So first of all, 6 is converted into the binary number. So it is 0, 1, 1, 0. So now one's complement of this number is 1, 0, 0, 1. 
here 4 bit is already occupied from the 5 bit register so here in 5 bit register the remaining bit is most significant bit which is 0 most significant bit indicates the sign bit of this number so in binary number system 0 represent the plus sign and 1 represent the minus sign so in binary number system most significant bit is called the sign bit and the remaining bit is called as magnitude so here in this example now you can check minus 6 is the exactly one's complement of the plus 6 so it means one's complement is used to represent a signed binary number in the binary number system so now one exercise for you guys how plus 120 and minus 120 are represented in binary number system so how many bits of register required decide by yourself solve this example and write the answer in comment section so answer of this example is given in my blog chirakbalodia.com link is already given in description so if you like this video please hit the like button and share with others subscribe my channel on youtube and press bell icon to get new video notification follow my blog chirakbalodia.com and follow me on social media all the links are given in description thank you for watching this video